Hello folks, this is 2014 major paper 13 and the question number is 10. It says that a table tennis ball is dropped onto a table onto a table and bounces uh, back up so it bounces back like this. The table exerts a force F on the ball so it's the force F like this. The which graph base shows the variation with time t of the force F while the ball is in contact with the table. So we have to find uh, the, the most appropriate graph. So let's first realize that uh, when the ball just touches the ground, uh, till it was in air, the only force in it was the force of gravity. So when it is on the ground, the, 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 there starts the force applied by the ball, by the surface on the ball like this, like this. So initially it is zero. Initially the force should be zero because it has just started. So that's why initial zero means that uh, choice number B and D disqualifies because here they said that the initial force is something, initial force is something. So both of them disqualify initial zero. So as the ball goes on compressing, it acquires some sort of this sort of shape, this sort of shape. So when it is at the most compression, the force is maximum, initially zero and when it is at the maximum compression, the force is maximum. So zero and maximum and when it uh, comes back so it goes first it comes like this then it compresses and it goes like this goes like this so that means when it uh, uh, relaxes after compression the force again should reduce or become zero so what the pattern is initially force should be zero then it should be maximum and then it should be zero and that is reflected by the choice number C only and choice number A it does not reflect that. So, the choice should be choice number C here.